Today I want to do a follow-up review on my inflatable boat board. I've had lots of boat boards and I've recently switched to inflatables. After having the hard boat boards, uh, which are a lot more fragile, the inflatables are so much more durable. Well, I can't speak from a fishing point of view. I can speak from a family point of view. We don't use these boards for fishing, but as you can see, my disabled daughter loves to stand on the front of the board with the rack in the front and just hold on to it. And to me, that just really warms my heart to see her out there enjoying the water. And that's what's great about these boards. They're wide and they can hold a lot of gear, AKA families. Uh, we actually put two kids on these boards and, and have a great time. The, um, the HD is a lot smaller. Uh, that's a very, very small board for a very, very small person. Uh, we did have a, do a little repair on the back there. This is a hard board and I'm trying to get away from those because they're so fragile. Now, if you really want to talk fragile, this Hobie uh, elliptical board here is super fragile. And then you have the uh, SIC boards, which are super durable. Um, but the boat has all the accessories that you love. It's red, Dada. Mm -hmm. Honey badger don't care. Here you can see the versatility of the boat board. It's very wide and stable, and you can put the rack on the front or the back. You can actually have two racks, which you saw earlier in that picture, but I usually just keep the one rack up front for her. Uh, we put coolers on these things, lots of gear, uh, you know, diving equipment, everything else, uh, and we just go up and down the river, and the kids just love the stability. You can see how much the kids love this board. Unfortunately, they actually will fight for position to stand up here, so you have to play referee. Now, the reason this board is so stable is because it has a flat bottom and it is very wide. Now, that's good and bad. It's great for stability, but it's um, a little bad for tracking and long distance paddling. Uh, of course, a narrower uh, board with a little bit of a uh, concave hull would give you a little bit more tracking um, but this is a great board for uh, stability the board is holding up surprisingly well and stay tuned for future reviews if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and i'll answer every single question you guys have thank you for watching and have a great day